Here's the Mercedes uh, 180 diesel from the last time I worked on it. The uh, couldn't get any fuel to the glow plugs, so I had to pull out the gas tank, which is here. When you, when you pull the gas tank out, you want to be careful to save these spacers. You can see the spacers. You can go ahead and cut these lines, the plastic lines, because you can replace them anyway. And there's the uh, fuel sending unit. It's going to be fun to put that back together. So this tank, I had to pull it out because it had, uh, you can see there, one, one and two nice holes. So, always a nice little surprise. If you're going to work on these old cars, you got to take the gas tanks out anyway and uh, clean the interior, get the varnish and the rust and the debris out because otherwise it's just going to go into your engine. Just going to destroy it. So there's my, there's my gas tank. Secured with three bolts. And uh, secured there. And secured there. 14 millimeter wrench. Pulls those off. There's the gas tank. Sometimes you can find them on eBay. Sometimes you get them at a wrecking yard, but it's just as easy to just yank them and rebuild them. So, so now we'll look underneath the car here. There's our first bolt. There's our second bolt. There's our third bolt. And you can see there's the uh, harness for the fuel sending unit and there is our fuel lines going up to the front of the engine 14 millimeter now if you're fortunate these things come off simply and then coming over here here's our fuel lines that we had to cut these are just uh, braided and, and rubber and they're worn out they go to a rigid line rigid line comes up over here and that mouthpiece connects to that and if you want to take the tank off, you still have to undo this bracket for the exhaust so you can get the uh, fuel filler pipe past this when you're dropping it. But it's really not that bad. I've had them where I've uh, had these bolts just snap right off and had to put new bolts in from the other side. That's not bad at all. And, uh, and that's really all there is. It's pretty simple. Um, if your fuel lines like that, those rigid lines are clogged, you can go to a, a hose shop and they can make you a rigid line or you can, uh, you could probably run a, a rubber hose for a good distance. But you want to use rigid steel lines. Yeah, this one, the exhaust isn't bad. It's really got a lot of work. My goal with this car is just to get the thing operational. And we'll go from there. See how far I want to go with it. And luckily, these lines fit only in one orientation. And got it jacked up. So I can get underneath it. It's not a bad car at all, really. Pretty cool. Lots of work doing this stuff. Never ends. I like to take pictures of the harness. Uh, just still photos so I know what orientation the wires went in. Or you can write notes. But sometimes it's easier to just take some pictures. Just as you're doing it so you know what you're doing. I'm not sure why the tank had holes in it could have been just uh, running over something but like that that rigid line we're probably gonna pull that out next and clean that up and that's where it would go real simple and don't forget don't lose the spacers you're gonna need those 
and that sending unit should pop out. VDO, they're still making them. VDO sending unit. I'm thinking W and G could be West Germany. I could be wrong, but that could be it. Right. Not too bad. There's the gas tank. And then that'll come out too. We'll take that out later. So maybe 45 minutes pulling a gas tank. Alright gang, here's the car. I'll see you on the next video.